Uh, Joseph here to be with Sir Sean again. So, Sir, a lot of questions here. Um, uh, I've been with Jack Devora or Marlon Tavares. Is uh, still in the process of uh, uh, slowly working himself back into boxing. All right, Marlon Tapales is working full speed ahead. He's going to fight for the IBF wow. WBA world title coming up in uh, March 2023. Jade Bornea, big wow. news, going for the La Vrabancha for Jerwin and Cajas. He'll be fighting Fernando Martinez coming up. Mark McSyles returning to the ring. Wow. Tokyo bronze medalist Ymir Felix Marshall will be returning to the ring around February. Um, we have Raymar Galvalio uh, also coming in somewhere in the new year. And wow. a really big fight to end the year with an exclamation point. Vincent Astralavia yeah. fighting for the IBF number one position against uh, Nikolai Popov. So, um, you know, things are looking up. I know everybody says we have no belts here right now. Yeah. Well, believe me, we have about four or five shots to start the year, and there will be some world titles coming back to the Philippines. Thanks. Sir Sean, a uh, question from Winter. Uh, he's asking for the next update for Pitbull, Sir Sean. Pitbull. Pitbull will return in the first quarter of 2023, okay. taking a little time off, healing up on some various uh, things he had. You know, he had a had a great year, he had a couple rough fights, so um, I'm excited, man. I can't wait to see Pitbull back in the ring, but definitely in the first quarter of 2023. All right, so also, sir, thank you, sir. Also, they are asking uh, because uh, there is a write-up uh, by Sir Dean Benito Henson that there's a possibility of Senator Manny Pacquiao uh, versus Ryan Garcia. Is it true, sir? Well, if you've been watching Twitter the last few days, yeah. I think that question was answered. Ryan Garcia uh, signed to fight Javante Davis. Wow. Now, you know, anything could happen. Uh, if someone got hurt, the fight didn't happen, or if the fight happened, the winner. Senator's looking to do something in 2023, but Senator wants to see how he feels, how he looks uh, December 10th against DKU. So to answer your first question, Senator is not fighting Ryan Garcia. Okay. Ryan Garcia is scheduled to fight Javante Davis. Wow. There you have it. And Interesting question, Sir Sean, in, from Hinyaga Animation. Are you getting a new boxer here in the Philippines? You know what? At the moment, of course, we're focused on working with Carl James Martin. Wow. Um, new boxers, you know, we're always looking and working and our partners with Sandman, partners with Omega, um, Alorde Boxing, who now is helping Pedro Tata Duran. So we're going to help out with that. Um, and a kid I really, really like is Christian Laurenti, who the fought tonight on the ago, new yeah. blow for blow. I think Christian has a nice, you know, nice future. So, you know, with Jerry Penalosa and Senator Manny Pacquiao working together, um, you know, I work closely with uh, the the crew. So, I hope uh, to one day, like I said, uh, to really help uh, Christian along. But tonight was great, man. Blow for blow was that. That's what that series started back in '95 for people like Christian to kind of get the publicity, get seen, to have the people look at them. So I think they accomplished what they uh, set out tonight. It was an amazing night. It was like a throwback in time. Yes, Sir Sean. And also, a lot of Filipinos now, Sir Sean, a while ago, it's very obvious that a lot of uh, Filipinos recognize you and uh, wanted to take pictures with you. And what we are expecting uh, for, for early 2023, sir, for Philippine boxing. Do, are we going to have some uh, shows here or? Yeah, well, what we're expecting is Sherwin and Cajas returning for the first time in almost six and a half years since he won his world title. He hadn't fought here since, you know, we had a unfortunate, um, not a great end to uh, 2022. We're going to start him off around February 11th back here in the Philippines against a very quality opponent at 118 pounds. Wow. And we look for Jerwin to fight again for a world title at 118. So yeah, so we're gonna do a Jerwin fight. We wanna definitely come back and do a Ymir Felix Marshall fight, Marshall wow. fight. I think uh, Ymir coming back here, you know, he hasn't fought here uh, as a professional ever. He hasn't fought here since the Tokyo Olympics. I think the people are really looking forward to having Ymir back here also. Yes, sir. And also a lot of people appreciate the fact that Jerwin just moved up on uh, bantamweight, but he's yeah. also rated now uh, on yeah. IBF. 
Absolutely. How, how possible is that? <laughs> well, like, you know, part of it's possible because being a former world champion yes. and having a belt for over six and a half years, even though you lost to one guy, one style, um, I believe you should absolutely come into the rankings at 18 because of all the rest of your body of work, you can't judge a guy on two fights. Yeah. So the IBF uh, understands that also. You know, if he would have got knocked out or KO'd, I don't think they would have ranked him, but being a proud IBF champion for six and a half years, it warrants coming in at number seven in the new rankings. Yeah, thank you, sir. And, and last, it doesn't hurt yeah. to have a good promoter in MP Promotions, yeah. myself. <laughs> That's that the knows, thing. <laughs> knows a lot of people. So, yeah. you know, I, I fight for my clients. I work hard for my people. And, uh, you know, when they lose, I lose. I feel horrible because as a matchmaker and making fights and stuff, I feel I take a lot of blame uh, certain times when things don't work out. So I have a goal to get Sherwood a belt back because wow. I don't. I feel like we're naked. I feel like Sherwood walks around and it's strap season. Man. 2023, yeah. we'll get one. Yes, sir. There you have, ladies and gentlemen, MP Promotions President, Knuckleheads uh, Pro Boxing Promotions President, uh, International Matchmaker, Agent, Promoter, name it. You have it with Sir Sean Gibbons. Sir Mr. Winter TV, you have the right name for the time of year. We're heading into winter. So uh, I want to thank uh, Winter TV for all their support and everything they do from MP Promotions and uh, all the Filipino boxers. Thank you, Winter TV. Woo! Thank you.